ladies and gentlemen, the television screen is not the best medium. I hate to say this about TV. To show a skiing sequence like the one you saw off the top there, you should really be in a specially designed theater to see that. And I'll be talking and showing you more about all that later. But that represents, and TV doesn't do too bad a job there. My heart was pumping. Uh, it might lead you to believe that the whole evening's all about skiing. Now, that's not so. We're up to other things quite different from that tonight. But we are presenting a documentary we made uh, concerning that whole process called Show Scan. Very revolutionary, very new. And we're showing that because our feature tonight happens to have been made in a revolutionary process called Cinemascope, way back in 1953. It was the first movie ever made in that widescreen technology. And we thought you'd be fascinated by the latest state of the art in wide screen technology. So you have some real thrills ahead of you this evening. Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome again to Saturday Night at the Movies. My name is El Rio. Our theme takes its cue from the holiness of this weekend. It's a time when followers and members of Christian faiths all over the world are, are celebrating Easter, and we're calling our evening Easter. We only have one picture. I'll explain a bit more about it momentarily. It's called The Robe, the one that was made in 53 in Cinemascope, and they, it is rather long, and that's why there's only one feature tonight. Well, as I explained, show scan and widescreen technologies are going to form a sort of a corollary, a corresponding or a parallel theme this evening, and much more later, because while you, your, your hearts were probably in your mouths with that skiing scene, I'm sure as mine was, we're going to take you all on a roller coaster ride through the courtesy of this wonderful new technology show scan later tonight, and, uh, well, your, your hearts will be palpitating, let me assure you. Now, if I seem extra ebullient on this occasion, ladies and gentlemen, it's an exciting night, certainly our film and everything else. But this also so happens to be, if you can believe this now, you can't, looking at this young face, I'm sure, our 15th birthday on the air. How about that? Boy, I was a mere callow youth 15 years ago. We did our very first show. Look at the, the ravages that time has wrought on this, uh, on this figure, eh, ladies and gentlemen? Anyway, I still seem to be surviving. But 15 years ago, I was way back in my 40s. And we had a religious night that night, much like tonight, in a sense. We ran a movie called Through a Glass Darkly by Ingmar Bergman. And the theme on that occasion was three films in search of God. Well, ladies and gentlemen, um, I would like to say that following a spring-summer revival, which you'll be getting, a lot of our best shows from the last five years, I'm allowed to inform you we're going to be opening our 16th season uh, this fall. And I've been asked to uh, host uh, proceedings again, so I'll be looking forward to seeing all of you at that time. Well, our Easter tribute is the robe, as I told you, and this is the picture made in 53, a picture that got an Academy Award nomination to Richard Burton for him for best performance. He didn't win that year, but he certainly was nominated for his role as a Roman centurion, and Gene Simmons is in it, and Victor Mature, I don't think Mature has ever been better, and it's an interesting film based on the novel by Lloyd C. Douglas. After the film, I'll be taking you on a kind of tour for about five or six minutes of the way Christ has been interpreted down through the last century of motion pictures. And I think you'll find that certainly uh, edifying. It, it's, it's an interesting journey. And then there's that show scan documentary. And, of course, our guests tonight, which include uh, Leonard Malton of Entertainment Tonight and Charles Champlin of the L.A. Times. They'll be here to comment on Cinemascope and on the robe. And Edward Mader, that fine historian on costumes, will also be here. But now, ladies and gentlemen, it is that hallowed time here. Time to turn your lights down low and put your feet up and settle back with me as we take a journey back over 1,900 years in time and watch how the screen has treated the robe. <laughs> 